Here we go. So now we are going to uh, to talk about the first point related uh, uh, with uh, rule number two. Uh, that is, don't point the muzzle to nothing or anyone that you don't want to shoot. That's perfect. But we need to match this rule with the manipulation of the platform. We need to match this rule uh, not only when we are in aiming position, but also, also when uh, we need to do reload, load, the jam resolution every time. In training, so in the shooting range, we need to use the firearm, or in the real life when we need to use a firearm for uh, for for job or uh, for defense. So now let's see. First of all, as always, finger out when you exit from the holster. Okay, as you can see, straight and out, straight on the on the slide. Now, uh, no mag in chamber is empty, and uh, I want to show you. So we have only two conditions in our system. One condition is when we have, uh, when we are in the holster, doesn't matter which kind of holster, in this way we work in the CCW, on the side holster, but you can have uh, appendix, you can have crossover, six o'clock, five o'clock, open carry, CCW, whatever. One condition is when we carry, how we carry the gun. Second condition is when we are out from the holster. So we already did the transition from, uh, from the holster to the target in a, in a, in a training. So in, from the holster to, uh, to the target, to our targets during our drills, our protocols, or in a real life from the holster to the threat straight. So when we pass in this transition, as soon as I am out from the holster, I always work with my firearm, with my handgun, from my nose to my higher part of the chest. This is there, this is the comfort zone, the work zone. And I always work straight uh, with the gun. I am always have the gun parallel to the ground, no angle, straight perpendicular on my chest. So in this way, I prevent many different mistakes that they can come now on the base of the fact that the, it's a, we are talking about handgun. So it's something that is short. And this is why it's, uh, it's we call the beast because every small mistake with the handgun, they can become bigger and danger. So every time I'm out from the holster, my gun is always here. Whatever I need to do, load, reload, jam resolution, uh, standby position, whatever is always in this uh, in this area. So in this way, I can load the gun, I can I can reload, uh, jam resolution, whatever is going to have, whatever is going to be the problem, I'm going to manage my the manipulation of my firearm inside this area. I never go lower. I never point the gun down without without a control. I can go in sole position, but this is another option that we are going to analyze in another video. Or we can go in high head like we do normally. This is a, a kind of position that we use uh, in uh, uh, to move or in a specific environment are those are the only three options we have but for example you need to pay attention because on the shooting ranges in the training facilities many times if you point the gun in this way so you break the angle of the safety angles of the training facility maybe you are allowed maybe not but uh, what could be danger in a training facility could be uh, safer in a real life because in a real life if you point the gun if you do reload in a parallel on the ground, this means that you are pointing the gun in a in the human aid. So if I do reload or jam resolution with the gun pointing in this direction, in the in this aid, in a crowded environment, for example, I can point the gun. I'm going to muzzle people. So in that case, is uh, is is the why we need to work up or the low part or high part. We are going to analyze in another video which are the pros and the cons uh, using always. Uh, the logic has main filter. Now, to come back on the point, so when you are in the shooting range, out of the holster, always inside the comfort zone, uh, another point, uh, you are straight on the target, you finish your job, when you finish your job, you call back your weapon and you do uh, all the procedures that we are going to cover in the next video. Uh, here, as you can see, the finger is always straight on the slide. Uh, now, uh, when you have uh, uh, especially if you don't have enough experience uh, to uh, to manage the trigger guard. 
uh, when we, you become more expert, you can go and you can manage even the trigger guard, but with the proper, uh, with the proper attention, with the proper experience, especially if you have, uh, for example, tack light or something like that. But bas basically, every time you need to work with a, uh, where, when your finger doesn't need to be in the trigger, must be in this position. Okay, it's not curved; it's always straight, uh, straight on on the slide. The gun is always pointed on the target side. So this is the comfort zone. This is how we put our muzzle. And never you work here. I never do nothing at this eight. I never point the gun because more here the gun is out of my control. And it's very easy to point the muzzle in uh, in your feet, on your legs, where you have a peripheral heart rate. So this is uh, how we do, uh, how we work with the muzzle uh, in a training and in a real life.